There's a little uh, video of a pre-flight. Now, a little more than pre-flight. I'm just showing you the more in-depth stuff we do. Plane sat for about four days. So, and why these tires are not brand new, once they're, once we get the history of them, we'll check the tire pressures every four days. So obviously we got this, we use pure nitrogen in an airplane. And then just open this up. There we are. That'll give us about 200 PSI, and we set the tires to, well, let me show you. Down here is a little valve that says, what is that? 174 plus 10 minus zero. So that's what we do it to. Now, the tires were at about 170. You saw that it said 174 plus 10 minus zero. I usually set them about 178 to 180. So that's what that's what we keep these tires at, and that's what I'm gonna set them to. So that's that's what we do. And like I said, I only check these about once a week. When they're brand new, we'll check them every day because they'll tend to stretch a little bit or see if you have a, a slow leak. Then after about two weeks of that, once a week. So um, and just so how critical these tire pressures are, a lot of people don't talk about this, but uh, in aviation, if they run a tire 10% low on pressure the tire is no longer serviceable which means if so let's say 170 is making easy numbers 17 psi low um that's what 153 this pressure is less than 153 the tire needs to be replaced quote a new goodyear and michelin now the other thing this is a 16 ply tire they will tell us if you see cords the tire can still be serviceable actually the Embraer maintenance manual says 20 percent of radius and that comes to like 11 and a half inches of cord showing now I don't run them that low. I run them to their bald, and then if I see one piece of cord somewhere, we'll change them out. And just to give you an idea, to do one tire on this airplane, uh, boy, I gotta look at the last invoice. I wanna say it's about $1,600 per tire. So if you do both sides, you're a little over $3,000. And normally, you would place these two mains about two to three times for every one in the front. Actually, the, the front nose gear, a lot of times I replace that too, just because it seems like it starts getting a little out of balance, even though this airplane, they have a drag on the front, so when it goes up in the well, it kind of hit, it rubs on something so it doesn't stop in the same place every time. Now these tires, there's a the brake controller, when the gears in transit going up, it hits the brakes to stop the tires. Again, so the tires don't stop at the same time, and you're not always laying in the same spot, getting a bald spot. Hope that helped.